Hey everyone, Andy here with Mossy Creek Fly Fishing, coming to you today to talk about the new Confluent Stocking Foot Wader that we've got from Sims. This is a wader that's full of different features, so I'm going to give you a top to bottom run through, talk to you about the features, the material, and then give you our thoughts on the wader overall. So when we start out up top, the first thing you're going to notice is the shoulder straps. You're seeing these really nice padded shoulder straps on a lot of Sims newer waders. And it's an addition that I almost can't live without. When you start wearing these, you're going to feel the difference right away. You put on that padded shoulder strap, it distributes the weight better. At the end of an eight hour day of fishing, you're nowhere near as fatigued from those straps pulling on your shoulders all day long. So a really nice feature to have at a fairly affordable wader here. Now coming down to the main wader itself, let's first talk about some of the materials used. Down here, or up here in the chest area, we've got a four layer stretch torre. So we've got a little bit of added mobility from the stretch built into it, but we do have four layers, so we've still got some good durability. And then down in the lower half, we're gonna have a four layer polycarbonate torre that's gonna be extra durable material. So if you're sliding down a rock or something like that, you're gonna have durability where it counts down there. Now looking at some of the features here, you're gonna notice right up front here, we've got two fly patches with some additional spots where you could hang tools that you want to have right there ready to go. So you could add a zinger onto here, you could clip your forceps onto it. Something that you want to have close by, you can just attach right there on the front of your wader without any additional stuff going on. You've obviously got a nice zippered front chest pocket here, good place for you to put away a, a fly box or anything that you want to keep handy, but maybe have tucked away with a little bit of extra security. And then you've got fleece lined hand warmer pockets here. They zip down and you can reach all the way through. Get yourself some nice warm hands, putting your hands down in there. And also you can use it obviously as additional storage. And then additionally to that, on the inside of the wader here, you've got your uh, added wader pouch. So this would be a great place for you to put your phone or again, anything you wanna have close by but keep it within the waterproofing of the wader itself. This exterior pocket, if you weigh it a little too deep, is not gonna be a waterproof material. Um, you will get some water in that pocket there. Now coming down to the belt here, we've got a nice sturdy belt, that good stretch belt. And on the back side here, the thing I really like about this is we have two belt loops. So we have a upper belt loop and a lower belt loop. So depending on your body and your preference, you can choose to put that at one level or the other. And it also leaves you a belt loop open if you want to have the ability to add something else onto it, like the Bulkley hand warmer muff, for example. You can loop that on or you can loop on one of their um, other packs and bags as well if you want to have it actually integrated within the wader itself. Now coming down towards the bottom half of the wader, you're going to notice immediately the neoprene knee pads. So a really nice feature to have there. Those are twofold. One, obviously, if you're getting down, crouching around, those are going to give you a little bit more support on your knees, help keep you comfortable. But they're also going to give you some more, um, you know, brush protection. If you're walking a trail that's not well maintained and there's all sorts of briars and things that you're walking through, those neoprene pads are right in that spot where we tend to be trudging through all those pieces. So it gives you a little bit of added protection as well. Being neoprene, it's flexible. It's got lots of movement. So you're not going to be limited, you know, lifting your knee, getting into that mobility range. You're not going to have to worry about that with these knee pads here. And then finally, at the very bottom, just like most waders, you're going to have a uh, gravel guard. One thing nice that Sim's doing is they now have an elastic gravel guard. So when you flip that down, you don't have to worry about stretching it out and hooking that metal piece onto the end of your boot. It just flips down and holds in place nicely, serves its purpose of stopping gravel from getting down in, but makes your life a little bit easier there. So really just a great wader. These come in at 550. So it's in that price point where, you know, a serious angler who's spending a lot of time on the water is going to be getting into a very durable wader that's going to last you quite a long time. And it's going to be able to hold up through heavy abuse and use. Um, not quite as expensive as some of your really high end waders, but definitely not a entry level wader either. So a nice middle point for somebody again, who's real serious about their uh, gear and wants to have a good, very reliable wader without spending an arm and a leg on it. So 
we've got these here in our shop. We've got them in most sizes. You can come on in and try them on. Uh, if you want to give us a call, we're happy to answer any questions that you've got. And we hope to see you all in the future. Thanks for watching.